Six News is there as police and federal agents raid two Council Bluffs homes. Tonight, we're talking to the man who lives there. He says police went too far. Their tactics uncalled for. Good evening. I'm Joe Chiodo. Happening locally live at 5, a Council Bluffs man is upset and he is angry after police raided his home early this morning. The scene just off East Canesville Boulevard and Benton Street. The man says police were looking for another person who doesn't live at his address. John Chapman has this story. People who live in this Council Bluffs neighborhood say they are not surprised that police raided this house. Council Bluffs police didn't wait for the occupant of 129 Benton Street to open the door. Police tore it down. They were looking for the person who lived here at 129 Benton Street. There is also a house in back, 129 and a half Benton Street. Austin Landon lives here. Austin says he has nothing to do with the people who live in the house in front of his. But he says police raided his home and busted down his brother's bedroom door. It was probably an hour into work and he called me and was like, dude, I just got woke up to guns in my face. Like, what is, like, they said they're looking for Chad. And I don't know. I was like, well, Chad doesn't even live there. Austin says police gave his brother a ticket for possession of drug paraphernalia. But he says all of this was totally uncalled for. I'm real mad about it. Like me and my brother are just trying to do right, trying to trying to turn our lives around and it's not working. I mean, I don't know if it's just because we've been living here in the same town, we've developed bad names or what, but that's ridiculous. Everybody should be treated equally, you know? Right. Like whether you have felonies or not, that shouldn't matter. And I don't know, I just feel like this is a bit way over the top. Austin says he plans to contact a lawyer. Police say this is part of an ongoing investigation, so they will not comment. With photographer Mike Plews, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News. Council Bluffs police tell 6 News that they did have a search warrant for both of those homes. 